Hey, it's Squad Drone Dude, and last night I showed you guys this guy. Giving you guys a way better look and a whole rundown on how to make him. As you can see, he's my little snowmobile. Bunch of fat boy tires in the back. Last night when I showed you guys the video, I was rolling with normal street treads on him. But I beefed up his tires. Obviously more traction, more speed. But there's three ways you can make this. Obviously you could take broken cars and make it, or you could take a perfectly good car and make it. But you're better off taking the broken cars. First you take a front axle off any of your broken cars, combine it with a body, then find a back axle and just hot glue, glue, zip tie, however you please to do it. I used a Baja front end. This whole body is a Baja too. Because I wanted to keep that design. Like I could have cut more. But there was no point. I The wheels would touch the front skis and wheel. So that was no good. So I had to space them anyway. So that was perfect. Took a broken Baja front axle. Left the motors. And gears intact. Well I only switched out motors because one of them died but this back axle is off a rat you guys don't know what that was it used to be this car before it got torn apart Let's get old NOS tanks <laughs> but I upgraded his antenna he used to have a spring antenna which was no good An internal antenna. It was garbage. You could only go like maybe 50 feet max. But with this other antenna off a broken old controller, goes way farther. Goes like 120 max, I want to say. But here's the third way you can do it. Take another one of your big ones, like the Reaper here. Take his front axle off. They do have inside covers and stuff, like this one right here that came with it. All you do is pop it in place where you want it. There you go, just pops in place, guys, and then you screw in the screw, and bam. Walmart cars are simple, easy mod cars, basically, cheap ones that you can make ten times better like I have Rolltech toys right here as you guys can see Rolltech toys this used to be a little Raptor little F-150 for my daughter destroyed it if you guys watched that video but I took apart his back gave him new motor kept the same gear ratio and just beefed up his tires so this one now thrifts basically but not with these treads on. But like I said, you could even take like this front end that was off the Raptor, and you can use that as a front end. All you need to do is make your skis mounts. But like I said, I use the Baja for three different reasons. Because I can interchange his wheels anytime. Literally, I can take off these wheels. Uh, well, these skis technically, and put on his street wheels. And I can take these grips off and put on my sand treads. Which just had one, if you guys watched my videos before, it's just a little normal Baja tread just with four screws in it, and it digs perfectly in the sand. And that was what you needed to do. But like I said, I'm a hot glue whore, and if you are going to make one of these, and you can also keep the battery compartment that the batteries come in, just leave it soldered to the points it's supposed to be, and just use that. But if you have rechargeable LiPo batteries, like I have quadcopter batteries, that's a 600 milliamp, 3.7.
fault. But like I said, if you don't like the disposable batteries, that's an upgrade to a light bulb. But all you need is the insides off a dead car. Find its ground and its lead. And the rest is just cake, guys. On off switch, board backwards, left, right. Show you guys one last look of the collection. Oh, one more thing. I gave him a new boost bar, guys. Some people probably noticed him. I was like, wait, what the hell is that? But the four wheel drive used to take one of these for his boost bar. crazy. I don't have them plugged in in there so I don't waste battery. It's kind of pointless. But well, what I'm running now is, I don't know, you guys can't even really see it, but it says a 7.2 1200 milliamp. But it's a Radio Shack one. It goes to my thrusters, that car right there. My beautiful demon. But now I got a boost bar that I had not charged yet. He's been in this car for at least 12 runs now. Hitting boost the whole way. So it's phenomenal, amazing. But it brings a lot of weight to him. This car's maybe 2 pounds tops. And then when you put the battery on, he's almost 3.5 pounds. So that's a lot of weight he's throwing. Yeah, that's just a quick, easy way how you can make a snow car, guys. Or a custom car, it doesn't even matter, because he, like I said, he rides on the road, too. He's an all-wheel, all-around car. All I need to do is make, a what do you call it, uh, boat tires now. Basically, foam tires that make them glide on top of the surface with uh, skis on the front like this, but different type of skis. I sanded it out so it's smooth on the back. That's why he doesn't reverse. He only goes forward. But, show you guys a quick look. All I did was cut a marker cap and stuck it to it for height. So that way he can't go over bigger snow chunks. And it makes his turning radius way better. Before it wouldn't turn like that. It would be like this or like this. Not a full turn. It'd be like that to that instead of all that. One last look. Any questions, just put it in the comment below. Please like this video if you guys want to see more RC mods like this. He's been boost upgraded. And then this car has been total upgraded. Gave him a new inside. He went from a 2.4 gigahertz to a 27 megahertz. So he takes uh, LiPo batteries now. Rechargeables. His top speed is currently 12 miles an hour for a Walmart car. That is fast. Then he was only supposed to go 5 miles an hour. So for those who like that Viper, how do you like it now? I thought it was funny. Practical at the same time, functional. A lot of people like this little Viper. I wanted to see what they would say with him with the engine in the back.